Hi, I'm Caroline Manley and I'm a senior on the soccer team. When I got here freshman year, there was kind of an opening in the starting spot for center back and um, I think I just fought it out and took the position and ran with it for the past four years. My relationship with Aston over the past four years has definitely grown a lot. I think um, he's just continued to help me grow as a player, a person, and a leader on the soccer team for the past four years. Hi, I'm Hannah Suter and I'm a senior on the women's soccer team. Being seventh all-time saves in MTSU soccer history is um, an exciting honor to have. Um, any way I can help my team is um, very exciting for me to do um, and I'm proud of that accomplishment and the fact that it was able to help my team in some crucial moments and um, that was my goal coming to play soccer here, just being able to help my team as much as possible um, and being you know, a leader on and off the field, so I'm glad I was able to do that. I think God has given me the opportunity to play at the highest level of college soccer and I'm forever grateful for that opportunity and I think my family and my friends have done nothing but support me. Um, you know, since I was just a child, like, my parents would drive me across town to soccer practice every single day and it wasn't always easy, it wasn't always, like, cheap to do, so I'm really thankful that they always supported me because they always saw potential in me and they knew that this was my passion and my dream. So. Um, I'm forever thankful for my parents and my family and my friends and my sister. Hi, my name is Jenny Francis. I'm a senior. It's been definitely difficult. I think I was really looking at a school that I would be able to go to to have the best of both worlds almost and be able to do soccer and nursing and that was really limited and I was really lucky to find MTSU because I was able to do both and Coach Aston let me do both. and. Um, I've been able to be successful in both and I'm really thankful for it. It's been definitely really difficult, <laughs> but I've enjoyed it a lot and I'm really excited to see what the next step is. So. <laughs> right now I'm thinking I would like to work in the NICU. I'm thinking probably going to move back to Atlanta and see where I can find a job and start working. And <laughs> but yeah, I think I'd like to work in the NICU and go from there. My name is Gentry Davis. I definitely think beating Vanderbilt was my favorite memory because going in, you know, nobody expected us to really win that game. Um, but it proves that it doesn't matter what team you're on, it's just who shows up on the day and who wants to win more. I'll definitely miss the girls on the team the most because they kept me motivated and got me through a lot of days that were tough. And so it'll be different not seeing them next year, but we'll definitely stay in touch. Hi, my name is Campbell Cavisto and I'm a senior on the women's soccer team. I have two favorite memories from my time here at MTSU. Um, one being when we beat Vanderbilt 2-1 to one last season. Um, I think being a part of the team that was able to do that is very exciting and something I will remember for the rest of my life. And the second game was Rice in the quarterfinals. Um, I just remember being crouched down on the sidelines while the girls were all taking PKs and I was I had tears in my eyes. I was I had a good feeling about the game, but I was also very nervous and I couldn't even watch, so I had some tears in my eyes. And then when Elena scored um, the winning PK, I just remember running and screaming and all of us huddling, and it was a really great memory. Over the past four years, um, I've created a lot of bonds with my teammates, and I feel like knowing that 30 other girls are going through the same thing you are, um, it's very easy to have a lot of people to talk to if you're struggling, and I just feel like I will I have created bonds with girls that will last a lifetime. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Slavinsky, and I'm a senior. <laughs> it was such a great experience. I just remember us like huddling up um, before uh, overtime started, and our coaches were just telling us how crucial it was to win this game. And I remember thinking in my head, like, we're not losing this game. And it was such a team experience. And I just remember after scoring, everybody dogpiled, and everybody, like, was on top of me and it was just really, it was a great experience, <laughs> it was fun. Um, over the past four years, I think I've grown so much as a person and a player, um, especially this season, I think I've become a leader off the field since I am out due to an injury. And so I think that's allowed me the opportunity to build a better relationship with my teammates and bond off the field more.